Hey yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy A back at it once again. This time in this episode I'll be showing you guys how I made this compa slash suk slash kizomba type I hope that y'all enjoy it and if you do, go ahead and subscribe. Tell your homies about it. But for now, let's go ahead and pop right in. Alright, so first thing that I made on this beat is this melody here. Nice. I'm using a dark swell pad. I've got the top end rolled off a little, and that's about it. And then we got an EQ on that, just rolling off the lows around the 30K, and also rolling off the highs around 1300. And took off a little bit of the 100 just to make space for the kick, and added a little warmth in the 300s. All right. And then the next sound that I added was these bells over here. So let's go ahead and hear these. And for this, I'm using um, another retro synth, the default patch, and then I RPGated it using the arpeggiator that comes with logic so pattern one and it looks about this and then the next thing i did i'm pretty sure i just copied the lower note these lower notes and added them to this sound over here and it sounds like this And for this, I'm using the retro synth again. And this time I'm also rolling off the highs on this. And then I've got a pretty substantial EQ on this, taking out the low 30, 30s and also rolling off the top end all the way to around 124 hertz. Again, super simple beat, not too much going on. I think there's a couple more sounds. I'm just going to play them. We have this sound here. This is the sub bass. The bass goes like this. And for the bass, I'm using the subby bass. It comes with logic. In fact, every single sound here comes with logic. No external sounds whatsoever. All right. Next up, we've got this warped pluck. I'm using alchemy here, and that sounds like this. I think there's a lot of delay on that. I can probably bring that down a little, maybe like this. I think it's more the feedback on the delay that I need to dial a little bit back, but I can I can do that later. Just got an EQ on that, rolling off the lows, adding some warmth in the 300s, rolling off the top. That's about it. And then we have Arcade. And here we'll just, we're using this, I can't remember which pack, but the sounds are something like this. <laughs> Going, keep it hey. Let's hear what I used. Hey. Easy. Hey. Easy. All right, that's that. And then we have another arcade. This time I'm just using different phrases, and this sounds like this. Oh. And then finally we got the drums. 
and the drums they sound like this i like using the drum kit all these sounds come with logic so i use the producer kits and this time i use the french connection pack or kit rather and then i just program it to sound like this yeah nice oh yeah we have one other sound actually i remember this is like when i add this i feel like i'm adding a touch of compa but then again it's just like my interpretation of compa anyway this is the sound <laughs> Nice. So I used multiple sounds that I created. I used the EFM one and created this kind of sound. And then we got the ES2, which sounds like this. And then we got the another ES1 that sounds like this. And when you combine them, you get this sound or i can even do it on here because all three when i play all three sounds at the same time it sounds like this so that's my little touch of compa right there and so we got that and lastly we have this little incidental sound that plays something like this That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and listen to the entire beat now. We've got all the elements together now. Well, I hope that y'all enjoyed this little bit of a breakdown. And as I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time. Thank you. It's your boy A and I'm out.